they're obsessed about stacking good and great days. Back to back to back to back to back to back to back because they know if you do that, the level of momentum created after a year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years of doing this becomes so massive that the level of credibility and success you have at that point is probably more than what you deserve. The reason for it is because for 10 years you created so much momentum that it goes like this. Buffett was worth 52 million at 52 years old, whatever the number is, right? He's worth $100 billion today. That's the idea. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please let me catch up. And he or she says, come on down, baby. I'm not taking that day off or the week off or the month off. That's why I'm the dominator. That's the mindset of a dominator. So for you watching this year, a couple challenges I got for you. Number one is make a list of the guy that's the dominator, the competitor I just talked to you about, and see that intimidating quality and see if you can apply it to yourself. Number two, categorize what is a great, good, bad, terrible day for your field and the business that you're a part of. And then based on that, go out there and make a massive plan of action because if you create that momentum not going into 2022, you're probably going to have a great 2022. So if this message resonated with you, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So the most appropriate video to recommend after this one here is a video I did on how to take on the Goliath of your industry.